glaucoma clinical trial shows these points. IOP reduction is important in the management of all types of glaucoma, including normal tension glaucoma, and also in some cases of ocular hypertension. The second point, we should avoid fluctuation of the intraocular pressure, but it is not just lowering the IOP by 25 to 30 percent. Still, after achieving that, some of the cases may show progression. The second point is the risk factors. These clinical trials emphasize the importance of considering risk factors for starting or follow up without treatment. And if you have a risk factor, you have to start treatment early and give more treatment. The central corneal thickness, if you have a case with thin cornea, then the chance of appearance of glaucoma is higher. Should we follow the disc or field changes? In the early stages in the ocular hypertension treatment study, disc changes were more common to diagnose glaucoma to appear early, while in established cases like uh, what is shown in the early manifest glaucoma treatment, field changes is more important to detect progression. So the impression is in the early stages, disc follow-up is very important to check for the presence of glaucoma, but once we have glaucoma, field changes is more sensitive to pick up the changes. Cataract, drugs-induced cataract, surgery-induced cataract even more. Number needed to treat, number needed to harm. You can treat patients to preserve vision in some of the patients, but your treatment also will induce cataract. So this means that you should keep your treatment for high-risk patients and you should consider these possibilities, the development of cataract in your planning of treating your patient. So applying this information to patient care could help better caring for our patients.